I'm here with uh, Pirana. This is a Flex Innovations uh, Super PMP. It's one of the airplanes on the 6S Raw Power Series. Um, the inspiration for uh, the design of the Pirana is mainly to get an airplane that is fun to fly, affordable, and easy to transport. One of those airplanes that we all like to have um, in the car, easy, grab it and go. That's kind of the inspiration for this airplane. Uh, of course, the 6S, the power system brings a different level. It brings a lot of power, um, a lot of speed, incredible climb rate. Uh, one of the things I enjoy a lot how the airplane climbs. And, um, but it's not only about the speed, also it can do really cool aerobatic maneuvers. Actually, really, really, really cool. Like, for example, knife edge passes with a flying wing of pop tops or boomerangs or flat spins. All that is as very relative to the dual rudders that are active and allowed to have that yaw factor which is, uh, you know, for a flying wing is, is remarkable, I would say. The, the Piranha, uh, you can see the shape. My friend, uh, Clint Swift, he helped me with uh, stylishing the, the airplane. And basically, uh, his inspiration was in the Le Mans car. So, even you see here, like, simulating the intake in the top and the overall lines. So we have the Aura 5 light as a fly stabilization or gyro as people more popular way to call it. The system but it's a very very smart system and we have very cool features that probably we'll cover in other videos but you know launch assist and different fly modes and the crawl and things like that, you will see in other videos. But let me talk a little bit about, oh, by the way, I wanna show you also the other color choice that we have. So you can see the yellow and the orange. So let me show you uh, a little bit what, how it comes out of the box. So basically you see a, a fuselage like this and the wings our two-piece wing, wing tube, one in the rear, one in the front. It's supported by two screws, each panel. Then the fin, the vertical fin with servo and everything comes all ready to go. Basically mounted like this and then the two screws here, the bottom. So I assembly very fast. It's basically, you know, few screws. There is no glue involved, nothing like that. It comes with two nose. One is the speed nose we call, and then FPV nose for the camera. Has that little hole there. And uh, the other yellow airplane, he has that uh, camera installed. I don't know if you can catch it right there. And uh, also here is the video transmitter mounted right there. That mount is optional. You can buy separate from flexinnovations.com. And this airplane, I'm going to take the hatch. Uh, this rear hatch is four screws. Right now, I have it loose. I want to show you that a little bit inside. We're starting for a, you know, by motor here. It's a Potenza 20 6S. It's swimming a APC prop, 6.5 by 6.5. ESE is a 50 amp. Of course, I will do 6S. Aura 5 light. 
Over here, we have the LED controller. This plane comes out of the box with LED lights. Right here in the fuselage too. Illuminate the airplane. You can fly at dusk. Fun thing to do. Um, and then you can see uh, two trays. It has a one rear tray and one front tray. You can remove the trays with a few screws. Comes out. Back here, there is a hole where the receiver goes. You can mount receiver there, or you can mount uh, the satellites here, one side or the other side. In case of this airplane, uh, over here I have a Futaba SBUS uh, receiver that is connecting to the B port on Aura. And uh, the LED on the fuselage, as mentioned, goes from here to back here. The wings from here, 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 and here. Here's the bottom side of the airplane. And that's kind of covered all the details on the design and all the aspects. And just want to say finally that this airplane is it's really pure fun to fly, and uh, thank you very much, guys, for all your support, and I hope you enjoy this video.